Hello. Welcome back to Coyote Creek 2. This is Battle for Coyote Creek. Now you want to pull out your water, uh, pull out the water, and notice how there is nothing here at the moment. But remember this gravestone because we're going to come back to it. So yes, you don't have to come back to it, but if you want the secret you can. So here's a note, if you want to read it, pause now. Okay, so just pause, pause the videos on these notes, I'm not going to read them. I might read some of them, but I'm not going to read that one. Sometimes I read them, sometimes I don't. It depends what kind of mood I'm in. Uh -huh. And how long the level is. So, open up this door. And be careful of the fire. Wait! You can't come here! This town is under martial law. I must talk to the chief of the Apaches on an urgent matter. You won't get that chance. Mr. Bolivar and his high noon gang are holding him hostage. Along with a bunch of townsfolk. I have had a run-in with this gang before. I can certainly help you, Sheriff. Oh, so you're a bounty hunter? Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. They have pinned you down, Sheriff, and you are undermanned. They will not be expecting me. Well... Very well. The station behind has been turned into a storeroom. Plenty of ammunition and supplies if you need it. Townsfolk need to be rescued. They are being held in several places around the town that have been barricaded by the gang. I want the situation under control and secure before I make an attempt to approach the fort. The hostages are being held in the jail, bank, and saloon. There is also a Gatling gun that needs to be eliminated. I better get to work then. So, uh, yes. First things first, when I come to the train station. Well, it's not a train station now, but it will be. Remember that this level is set in what year was it? I don't remember. Well, it's set in 1800s. So, yes. Grab the hunting spear, and there are torches on there. But I'm not going to do anything with them just yet. Uh -huh. Some ammo as well. And uh, you are going to need it because there are some enemies in this level, obviously. Now, there's this barrel here. You can even push it or you can pull it as well. I push it because it's faster. Inside here is a secret. The um. crossbow. And you can see if Lava would stop messing about that. Just think, think people outside are just having a little chin wag. Yeah, they don't care, they're just happy to be around, I guess. I just dropped something then. So yes, remember the torch in there, I'm going to pick it up in a sec. But first I'm going to grab another secret. Careful of the uh, fire there. I believe there's three secrets in this level. I'll click on those stats. Nope, but there's 12. That was 22, so there's three. For yes, there's a free in this level. Uh -huh. 
and you have to come here to get one of the secrets. The secret is not in this room, but you have to come to this uh, room. Sh this shed, wagon, whatever. I don't know what you'd call this place. So grab the uh, Winchester. You should have one by now, but if not, grab it. And there's a note here that says Gilbert McCoy has some great customized pistols on him. I've been meaning to recover them, but the pastor would get suspicious. Hmm. That is get that as a clue because we've just been to a Gilbert McCoy's gravestone. Uh -huh. Remember that? Remember when I said there was nothing there? Well, let's go back and check. So let's see if there's anything back where, where it was, shall we? I'm saying that as if I don't know. Hello. Yeah, these guys here will not um, harm you. And you can't, you can't target them either. So yes. So you can come back into this room where we were before. Careful of the cactuses, they will take your life if you run into them. So here's the secret number two, and it's the chart guns. What are they called? The chart C93s. And they count as Uzis. And they are really, and they are cool. So I like how this gun has changed up the ammo. There's still one more secret to claim. I'll show you what that is in a bit. Anyway, first things first, and I want to get the torch again. Uh -huh. So you can get. So remember, this guy said that there are three hostages: one in the saloon, one in the uh, sheriff's office, and one in the. One in the bank. Yeah, remember he said that? Well, it doesn't matter what order you do them three in. So I'm going to start with the one I just normally start with. And that's this one. So yes, light that. Throw your torch over in this direction. But remember where it is. I'm going to grab out the Winchester and I am going to save. Because I can now. That save underneath there is one I had from before when I lost saves and yeah. I don't think it saves, I've, my recording failed. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be careful for spikes. There's going to be another dude, but come to here. Well, on the stairs and quickly run off them again. There's going to be another one of those dudes up here. Okay. I don't think this one drops anything. But that's fine. Another one in here. He does drop something. Some ammo. Uh -huh. Now the last two times I've played this, uh, what was I going to say? The ammo was here when he when he died, even though I killed him down there. So if you, if you can't see the ammo that he dropped, just check up the stairs, and it might be there. You can die as well. We pull that lever. And you can grab this. Uh -huh. Here. 
whatsoever, but there's nothing on this uh, one either. However, we need to grab out the V pistol and laser sights. There is a sniper up here, and he can kill you in one hit. As soon as I shoot that, you're good to go. Anyway, for a secret, you can come round here and jump to this. Wow, but I was just done a half, wasn't it, Lara? So, you notice there's a box. Shoot the box for the third secret. So we can hop back down now and go back in. Oh, well, why? I'm going to use the analog stick, it's a bit more efficient. Also, before I forget this, I want to save as well. <coughs> Shoot out this TNT box here. Explosives now, you want to save two of these explosives for the next level. So that's going to set the bar of barrel wall, and that's going to kill the sniper that is down there. Well, we still need to free some hostages, so uh, yeah, let's go and get them, shall we? So the whole point of this level is to free some hostages at the moment. I quite like this level, it's not as tricky as what I thought it would be. So if you come out here, there's going to be a dude on this balcony. But do not worry. But just worry about trying to get over there. there we go. Now I'm gonna grab out the charts. So you can hear what they sound like. And drink some whiskey as well. Once you come to here, the uh, platform raises, so if you do fall over, you can get back up here pretty easily. For this guy as well. Whoa. He fell. Now I'm going to use my shotgun again to save some ammo. Thank you, miss. You're an angel. So, yes. So that was our first set of hostages freed. So it's kind of an interesting concept, actually, to uh, have to free people from the bad guys. Grab this key. And that... And you can see that door... You can see the door, but it won't open yet. We need to free all the prisoners. So that's not that hard, but if you look, this this creeps me out as well. I've gone now, but if you look at them two guys, they come into here as well. See? Hello? You can pick up a spot of a... Uh, 
whiskey. No, I don't know about you, but it's not happy with less than 1800s. That's a bit weird and rough for my taste. Anyway, let's get out of there. Using this key. Now, I've no idea why this thing here is oddly a textured. I know that one there raises, but that one never does, have, I've, I've noticed anyway. So now I like to go all the way across to the other side into the saloon. I love that music. Help, miss. They have my wife in the room upstairs. Safety guard. Yeah, you can guys are. I don't know if the other guy drops anything. I'll check it out in a sec. Okay, you're gonna get this, gonna be another one. So let's kill these dudes. I don't know why I call them dudes, but I've just always done it. Oh, I've used all my explosives, have I? Don't come any closer, you hear? Oh well. Mm, can't be, can't be a beautiful my explosives. Well, the next level's going to be interesting then. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome, kind lady. Now I believe that voice actress there is the same one from Beyond the Skion. You know when Ashley said he used his mother for the voice act the voice actress. I believe that's her again. I've checked uh, the manual and it says Joan. So that's the, it's the same surname as well as uh, the, the creator, so also, this bottle of whiskey here is only. You can only Thank you, miss! Some problems, sir. You can only pick that whiskey on the table up if you have got less than five, and as you can see, I've got 18. Um, so, yes, you can't, I can't pick that one up, but if you can, pick it up if you want it. There's the first pick up that I'm not able to get. Oh, why am I using my revolver? Oh well. Uh -huh. So yes, I think um, the next level is going to be a bit uh, better than this one. Those bars look weak. Maybe I can break them yes, somehow. Yes, we'll do it in a sec. But uh, we've got another dude here that we can kill. Yes, I love killing these enemies. Now you can push this Acme box. All the boxes with the word Acme written on them are movable. Thank you, miss! Is that the same dude? I think we've seen that dude before. Uh -huh. I don't know. So uh, yes, let's go out the uh, sheriff's office. Or jail. Whatever. And uh, yeah. Be very careful. You can see all the dudes there are uh, by that door. But I'm certain that's where we're going right now. And don't forget to take your torch with you. We don't, uh, what do I want to say? You handle a gun very well, miss. The citizens can't thank you enough. You are not too bad yourself, Sheriff. We'll break down the fort doors. You can follow soon after. 
There is no other way in but through here. Be careful, Sheriff. You can see that barrel. That's what that's what we have to light. You can see there's also a sniper dude as well. And we killed one of our friends, so now Lara is a bit ticked off. I want to save it because this guy often kills me at least twice. A sniper. I better stay out of his view. I said that, Lara. So yes. There's lava tower so you gotta stay out of his view. So here I come all the way to the right and to the back. You wanna run him off this block. So there you go. Save the game before doing this. I better run for cover. Because you've got to run out of this. You've got to run away from the explosion, and also you've still got to keep out of the sniper's way. I better run for cover. No, I'm dead. So yeah, be careful. If it's not the sniper. I better run for cover. Jump into the corner. I don't need a small. So that's how you do it. You are left in command here, Sanchez. Make sure no one gets past. If they do, make sure it is the last thing they will do. <laughs> I just got and got myself shot. Wait here. Maybe I can help. I will be fine. Just stop Mr. Bolivar and the, the remnants of the High Moon Gang. I will. So yes, this this is a dude that uh, the snipers sniper killed, and these guys simply don't care. Look. Anywho, I'll show you a few things as well. Here's your medipack. Before going there, I've got some things to show you. Like that. I am going to throw a torch into the water just so I don't get that bug that people talk about. There's this torch here as well. And what, you, what the designer meant for you to do, I think, was to grab that torch and light it this flame. But every time I've tried to do that, I've been shot, so I just used the original torch. Diablo! Who the hell are you? Where is Senor Bolivar? You are too late, chica! Too late! It's never too late! Senor Bolivar and Phoebe have gone in search for the Golden City! You'd be wise to give up now! <laughs> give up? I don't really think so. So, yes. Throw torch into the water. And there's a pickup in this water, it's very difficult to grab. What you want to try and do is we'll swim in here and try and not fight the current, but just try and get me normally. Oh no, that was close. So yes, once you've got it... Uh, you can also pull out the water to fill your health bar up. So once you've got the uh, pickup, if you want it, just go back through here. You want to swim to the other side now, to the left, to the right. Sorry, not to that. And missed. Not really. There you go. Just try again. So that's probably. Uh, the best part of this level. Anyhow, you can pull up here. And I am going to save. Because I don't know if I saved after the fight, after the sniper dude. Also, there's this lever here to this door, but that will just take you 
back out. So uh, yeah, I like to open that door in case, just in case you fall down. So you just pull this Acme box out. There are a few box boxes out here, but this is the only movable one. So yes, move it. So this is an interesting uh, puzzle. Not as I think this this concept has been used a few times before. But there's a hole in the ceiling. So if you so if you use this box blocks box if you use this box you can climb on top of it. Like this. See? And yes. Now up here. Open up the doors. Careful of the spikes. And run off the edge. There's a tight rope here, and that's why I open up the door so uh, you don't have to hold X either. If I fall down, I can make it back. You also have to be careful because there's spikes under the tight rope. So, yes, you fall off, just come back in here. That's the only reason why I opened up the door. And this tight rope can be buggy as well, so... Uh, I'm actually going to save. I should have done that before, actually. Just remember there are some spikes under there, so don't fall on the spikes. Yeah, just FCT is to press the opposite direction. So like that. I did press the opposite direction there, but she decided to fall anyway. The right buttons. Yeah, I'm going to save right before I got on the tight rope. I've never had this problem in any other TW that I've played. And yes. This is only the uh, most tires I've done so far do not contain tight ropes. There's a fly in the room, so uh, that's so there we go. Sometimes it's best to take a few steps, then uh, you know, let go to forward for a bit, and that's done. So that, that tire is buggy, so be careful. So anyway, this is, there's a lever here. It's timed, but it's not to uh, press it off button to get out of that. It's not too bad. I didn't even sprint. So that's like one of the easiest time runs in this game. Well, technically, it's can be quite challenging if you uh, slow up a little just yet. You want to come to here.
and wrong, wrong side. Yeah, let's do that. I went to the wrong side. Now I've come to here. And you want to grab out your. Actually, let's stuff like that and use the crossbow. No. Missed. I'm going to hit the uh, whiskey bottle, and you'll see these numbers: one four six seven, one four five eight. So yes, if you want to, they're not that hard to remember, but if you want to write them down, grab, grab a piece of paper or something. Anyway. There's a door here that leads into a bedroom, but there's nothing in there. And I don't think there's anything in this room, have a look. So yeah, this is just the bedroom look. Seen something then, but there's mm, there's nothing in this one either. The other bedroom, I believe, is also empty, so I'm not going to go in there. I'm going to pull this lever and open up this door. I can pull this lever to start another time run. However. You didn't see him, but a bad guy's going to come out of that door. So I'm not going to go through it to do it just yet. As you can see, there's a bad guy coming. Oh god, don't hit me with box. So there you go, he's dead. So anyway, now I'm going to uh, do this timed run. This one's a bit tighter than the first one. It's still not tight tight, but you can do... Uh, see if I can stop. I might have to sprint now. Oh, failed. Try that again. But it's not tight this time around. I can easily... Oops, my fire. Uh... You see, I messed up there and I still did it. And you hear him. You want to grab out your crowbar now and do this. And remember those numbers that we've seen earlier? This, up, this, this is what they're for. So 1, 4, 5, 8, 1, 4, 5, 8. That will remove the bar. One more, one, four, six, seven. What, open up the door? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now they're doing so, we'll release this. Here we go. I'm just going to use my uh, another medipack. This guy's tough. I wouldn't call him a boss battle, but he is pretty hard to kill. So you go, he took like lots of my ammo away. Anyway, there's a few ways you can get down. I prefer this way though. So which way is the, uh, this way, yeah. So just come out down to here. And 
move down. You could also uh, go back through this room and get down that way. Right, also, we want to save here again because I don't like this part. And I think we've got too much of my easy ammo as well. Let's get the guy in the chest. I'm failing to do. Not reload. So yeah, some this guy normally is acting a bit different to what he normally does. There you go. This might take a while. Fast. Come on. Yes, that's faster than normal. So yeah, use your shotgun. Uh -huh. I've actually never knew how fast it was with the shotgun. So you use the cellar key to get into here. And this is where we're going to meet the uh, the chief. Not a chief dark cloud, because remember we are in 18 something I'll find out for the next video what year this is hello you have rescued me why my name is Lara are you the leader of the Apache here I am Chief Thunder Eagle of the Apaches and guardian of our tribe I seek knowledge about your tribe's history we do not discuss our history to any outsider, but since you did save my life, I will grant you your request. What knowledge do you seek? I need to know about the time your ancestors built the great golden city that fills men's hearts with greed, and more important, why? Originally, we were hunters on these plains, where the coyotes used to hunt, until a great spirit came to us. He showed us his power 
and instructed us to build his vision. Instructed us to build it on the highest peak. His golden men watched us while we worked, and after many moons, it was finished. Our tribe gave up these lands and relocated to the mountains. Some time after, we realized something was wrong. The spirits grew restless, and bad energy filled our hearts. It was only now we saw the great spirit for what he was, and rose up against him. The spirit was outnumbered, but he and the golden men fought with the strength of ten warriors. Despite this, we pushed them back to the nightmare they came from, and we rejoiced in the victory. We trapped him in the realm, and cut off all access to the city. Never did we return there. Interesting. Very interesting. Look, I have to get to that city. I fear the spirit will return, and this nightmare will never stop. The spirits may have indeed sent you, for I sense a great energy within. I trust you, stranger. The way is through these caves behind me. May the spirits guide you. So yes, just come through here. And let's say goodbye to Chief uh, Wonder Eagle, was it? Yeah. And let's move into this next level. Well, not next level, but yeah, next level actually. But I'm not doing it today. Yes, I want to save the game at the very top. And this is where I'm going to cut the video off. So uh, take it easy, guys. I'll see you all in the Golden City. Bye bye.